Hello, my good friends of the internet. Um, my name is Adrian. I'm here with Get That Skate. And I wanted to go over the new Madrid Truth. So to start, I'll go over the basic dimensions. And then I'll go into our ideologies when we were um, coming up with the shape and the construction and all that. And then I'll go into how I have my deck set up. So to get us started, we're looking at a length of 32 and three quarters inches long. The width is eight and three quarters up front, and then it tapers down to eight and a half in the back. Um, wheelbase, we're looking at uh, 20 and three quarters in the front, and then it goes out to 24. Um, has a little bit of rocker, super simple um, radial concave and and um, an M core construction. So that means that there's some maple in there and then there's two plies of Formica, um, one on top and then one in the middle. The one in the middle really helps with that torsional um, rigidity and that was super something that was super important to me when I was kind of testing it, that it um, say super stiff, but also um, no carbon, so it, it stays pretty cheap. Um, so our our thoughts on the concave were that it's since it's like a team board, we wanted something super simple, a super simple platform that everyone can build their own preferences off of. Um, so me personally, I have a little duct tape on the toe side, um, toe side edge so I can kind of press my foot into it and it keeps me locked in. Um, we tested with a wider construction up front and that was really nice um, because you could really dig some leverage in. It's, um, it's still a bit wider than... Um, than the trucks are and I, I like that because it I wasn't really too sure on it at first but I've been convinced because you kind of can lean over it with a, a bit less effort and really push into the slide push into any um, tuck leaning you're doing um, so yeah me personally I have a foot stop on a rogue insert bushing and I made sure that I can turn around so it can turn with my foot when I change from heel side to toe side uh, to tuck leaning and however I do that. And then I have a um, Venom Torque Block on some uh, some Velcro that I can change around and while I'm testing stuff kind of switch it around. Um, maybe I'll lock it down straight to the board soon but for now I like it like this and I can move it around and keep testing. Um, and then seismic locked on all over the place. And as I explained, I put a couple of, um, it's kind of like putting grip tape on your grip tape to like add some concave, but I like duct tape cause it's a bit tougher and, um, kind of, you can be more precise with it cause you can strip the, I don't know. I, I like duct tape. I've always used duct tape. Um, so yeah, I think that covers it all. Um, long tail, super playful. I, oh, my wheelbase, I'm currently on the shortest one. I was riding one out. Um, so I guess that's like 21 around there. And I like that. And I think I'm going to go back to that. But for now, I'm testing the super short wheelbase. Um, these European boys have been convincing me to, um, be really on top of the trucks. Um, but other than that, I think that covers it all. If you have any questions, um, you can DM me, myself, on Instagram, or Haz, or Oscar, or anyone on the Madrid team, and they'll be, they'll be more than happy to answer your questions. And finally, you can find this on fullcircledistribution.com or mirrorskate.com, or your local skate shop. So... Thank you for watching and I hope you go out, get a Madrid truth and you enjoy the heck out of it. Awesome. Thank you. Bye.